Welcome to Booth Customization. In this video, we are going to show you how simple and easy it is to customize the front of your booth. So on the homepage, under the slider, if you scroll down, there's some information and it tells you here step by step how to choose and customize your booth front. Follow down, we have a how-to guide, which is very like this area, this information, but it actually tells you in pictures how to customize your booth. There is some additional information to help you. And it also tells you where to click to make some op to make some choices and some options. In this video, we're going to do an actual run through of how easy it is to customize your booth front. So back to this page, to the home page. First of all, you choose the booth that you have. Please note that we don't actually supply the booths, we just supply the customized fronts for your booth. Now as time goes on and other booths come out, we will be adding to our inventory of booths that we actually provide for. But as of January 2018, this is the ones that we cater for at present. For this demonstration, we're going to choose the American DJ Pro Light Equinox Truss, which is a very, very popular truss on the market. So what you want to do, first of all, is select the booth that you need customised. So we're going to go with American DJ Pro Light Equinox Truss. It then opens up into this page. And again, the picture for the trussing and the booth will show up here. Now, here you have to make some options, make some choices. First of all, the material finish. The two options we have are acrylic and foamex. Acrylic is a transparent material, very like Perspex, which allows light to be shown through for DJs and users who want to have some light coming from behind. But for this demonstration, we're going to choose Fomex. Now, when you choose Fomex, the price will appear here. What you want to do next is choose Customize. And on the screen, next you will see the customization board. Now, please note that this area here that you see, this white area here, is the actual final dimensions for the actual booth front when it is made. We have configured the dimensions so that it is a perfect fit for your booth. So if you're going to make any customization, any edits, make sure that you fill in as much of this as possible. But let's have a talk through as to what we see here on the screen. First of all, on the left hand side, you see add image. If you hover over the icon, some information will pop up. So add image and add text, which is the main thing. So although it's just image, it's any logos, graphics that you may have and text will go, we'll do a demonstration run with that very, very soon. And if you click here for text, this is where you enter the text that you want to be on your booth front and images and graphics logos can be uploaded this way. So on the artboard, we'll go to manage layers later on in the demonstration. And we'll talk about this here, center snap, preview, reset, toggle ruler. When you do make some edits to the artboard, this will light up undo and redo. So let's start now. One thing to note is that on your artboard, it's white. So this is the default color is white. If you are wanting to make a change to color, say you want your booth front to be black, green, red. If you click on the artboard and at the bottom, you'll see this little box will pop up. What you want to do is click on the color and then you're given some color swabs. So in this one, we have white, red, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, and purple. So if you want to make your artboard black, your booth front black, click that, and this will change to black. 
and again if you want to get red, yellow, green. Same would apply with the text, but we'll do that demonstration very soon. If there are any colours that we don't actually have as an option, please let us know and we'll be more than happy to do that for you. But for the purpose of the demonstration, we're going to stick with white. So first of all, we're going to upload a graphic, upload a logo. So click here and we're going to go with the Subsafe logo. Now when at the bottom here on the left hand side it says image added and your logo or image will appear in this area here. Click anywhere on the artboard. There you go. Sometimes it appears twice, just delete that. So there you go, that is the logo or graphic that you have inputted, you've uploaded will appear here. You can also drag and drop the image into this in this area here. Now, when you click on your uploaded image, you'll be presented with some other icons. Duplicate, rotate, expand, and delete. Say we want to make it bigger. All you have to do is bottom right hand corner, make that bigger. What you can actually do as well is click on transform and you can actually make it bigger that way, or use the slider. Now, I'm going to move this up a little bit here. Now, this here would be the maximum left, maximum right, bottom left, and bottom right. So that's going to be the bottom right hand corner of the booth front, the bottom left of the booth front, top left of the booth and top right. But say you want that to be in the middle, bang in the middle of the booth front here. Click on position and you'll see a line left, a line top, a line right, vertical, centre vertical, centre horizontal, a line bottom, flip horizontal and flip vertical. We want to put that bang in the middle of the booth front. So centre horizontal, it pops to the middle and centre vertical. There you go. So that's you bang in the middle now. I'm going to make it a lot bit bigger. Just make sure that's done there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're happy with that. But then, actually let's move up a little bit. There you go. But let's just again make sure that that's centred horizontal. Perfect. Next you want to add some text. So click on the add text button. So let's put in www.boothcustomization.com Okay, then click add text. Now it appears the standard default setting is black. We're going to change that very soon. What you want to do then is click anywhere on the text and this button, this will appear, this little box here. Again it's the same options, transform, position, move up, move down, reset and you've got some options here as well. So we're going to make the font size smaller. So let's put it to 250. Enter. There you go. Also what you can do, very much like the image, you have rotate, expand, duplicate and delete. So let's use this icon here and we'll make it smaller. I want to put that in the middle. There you go, right bang underneath the image that we've uploaded of the logo for Subsafe. Now I want to make that, let's choose a colour, I'm going to make that, make that kind of a purple, kind of a oh, more magenta pinky colour. There you go, okie dokie. And again, if you want to make it, if, if you have uploaded your text and your image and you are want to make the artboard, the booth, main base colour black, down the bottom, just click on anywhere on the artboard and at the bottom, click on that and we'll make it black. Obviously you need a better logo for that. But make it yellow, make it blue, whatever colour you want. Now, go back up here to the icons, manage layers. 
if you click on them, see uh, the the trussing. Is it that is the name obviously of the booth front that you're going to be editing. Subsafe logo it highlights the logo, the name of the image that you've uploaded, and also the text as well. And you can do some editing here as well. And we'll make this white again. So I'll click on the booth front and change the colour to white. Okay, so we're going to choose white. Now, center snap, you'll see this grid will pop up. It just helps you in editing and positioning of any images or graphics. And click for that to disappear. Reset is it will reset everything for you. Now, if you are very particular in dimensions, toggle ruler, and you'll see a ruler will pop up here as well. Again, this artboard has been preset to the output for this booth that we're customizing. And undo, we'll undo that. It was the last edit we made was a change of the color, and we do, we'll change it back to what you want. So just to double check that we're now unclick manage layers. Now I want to see how that looks. In the middle is a preview button. Hit preview, and there you go. So now you can actually see how it's going to look. I'm happy with that, that looks good. This X up here will bring you back to the artboard. So when you're happy with how it looks, yep, that looks absolutely perfect. Down the bottom, you'll see done. Click done, and that's you. That has you, that's you customized your booth front. Add the basket. And there you go. That's me now added my trust booth system front to my to my checkout to my basket. And if you want to continue shopping, go back into the booth section or go into subsafe, and then when you're happy, proceed to checkout and follow those steps. So there you go, folks. That is how you use the booth customization facility. Any questions at all, please do get in touch. We're more than happy to help you.